Hi guys. Another little project. This is supposed to be a 3D printed air engine that I want to run off a balloon or have the balloon as the air reservoir. Uh, Lid Motor had mentioned one on one of his videos and this is <laughs> can't really say it's based on what he was talking about, very loosely based on what he was talking about. I just sat in front of Tinkercad and put bits together until they looked like they might work. So we got two tubes, that's the main um, cylinder, piston goes up and down in there and there'll be a shaft coming up from it or a connecting rod then we'll have a, a CD sitting on a crankshaft here so when the piston comes up it pushes the CD around then there'll be an arm coming out here with another crank on it oh no other side <laughs> an arm coming out here with a crank on it coming down there connecting shaft connecting rod onto that bit there which will sit in there and rock up and down and that arm will push in and out to operate the valve which will be there. The piston and the valve are just um, balls which I haven't even checked whether they'll fit in the holes yet. I use these bicycle spokes as the connecting rods. Let's just put that on there a little bit just to grip it. Right. So that's the piston going in and out there. That's where we'll connect the balloon to blow air in. And that, if I take these bits out of the way, they're just support layers. This is um, the raft that we don't need either. Although I'm leaving it on there for now, because it'll help support it. Right, that's got to go in there. I may have made my clearances a bit generous. That's going in and out a bit easier than I expected it to. Well, it might work. If I put that on there, put my finger over there. Hmm, maybe it may work. This is all completely untried, untested. And so I just sort of put bits together in my mind on Tinkercad. See what we came up with. So it's got to sit there, rock up and down. It's probably too big to go through there, isn't it? Yeah. How about that nail? Might be the right size. Oh yeah, that'll do. So we can see the general idea. So that crank arm, bell crank, whatever you want to call it, will convert up and down from there to in and out for there. Uh, right, these bits. No idea, I just sort of thought these things up and designed them, but that's supposed to be up here. So the shaft comes through, in fact, there'll be two of these. Oh, 
Those are designed to be a, a tight fit on there, which we'll sort out later. I'm talking you through this because I don't intend to sit there and, no, I don't know. I was going to say I don't intend to sit there and video it, but I might do. Right, there'll be two of them. One either side. So that's that, and then that one will be on there. Uh, where's our nail? Just to demonstrate. So there'll be a shaft through there. That one. Right, that's the top the top of the push rod. Into there. And then piston on the bottom of it. Not sure if I've made that long enough. Looks a bit short to me now when looking at it. But the idea is that's gonna push the flywheel around. I might need more weight for the flywheel. This is one of my um, hubs for my rubber band powered cars that I've designed to hold CDs for the wheels for rubber band powered cars. But I've made the hub deeper so I can add one or two more CDs if we want extra weight for the flywheel. So that would sit on there. Yeah, so that's sort of the introduction. That's the way it's supposed to look. That's another bit of support layer there that we don't need. Yeah, we'll see. That's sort of an introduction to my plans. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.